The definition of an adult is a person who is fully grown or developed, and I'd like to think that's me. Especially because I'm 27. Don't let the baby face fool you. This? This is a full grown man, baby. And after living at home for 27 years, I realized that it was finally time for me to spread my wings and get my first apartment. And now here we are, baby. Look at me, this is me in my apartment. I know this is a little strange for some of you watching considering the fact that I am 27 and this is my first apartment, but um, <clears throat> you know, things just work out that way sometimes. You know, no one's life is the same. I don't wanna see any hate comments. Now, before we get into the apartment tour, let me show you how we got here. So the very first thing I had to do was pack literally everything. I put my entire life into boxes and I had no idea that I had this much crap. Like what even is this stuff? And obviously I wasn't about to carry all these boxes to my new apartment. So I had to rent a little something, something. Say hello to my U-Haul. Yeah, look at this thing. This was mine for the day. This thing was absolutely massive. And as you can see, it fit a ton of stuff. A ton of heavy stuff, might I add. I almost blew my back out trying to load the damn thing. And once the U-Haul was packed, I was off. On the road to the apartment, and honestly, the butterflies in my tum-tum, they were flapping. I I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was just like a little anxious, a little nervous, but excited. And as soon as I got that key in my hand, things felt really real. This was gonna be my new apartment. You got the living room, the kitchen, the bedroom, the office, and the pooper. And this is my apartment. Welcome to my home. Guys, come on, are you seeing this right now? Look at this, there's so much room for activities. <laughs> Ah, okay. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and do a little apartment tour, shall we? Here we've got the living room in which I live. And this is what I like to call my couch. Super comfortable and not really rock hard and hurts my ass every time I sit on it. Definitely not. It's really good. I mean, come on. Take a look at these pillows right here. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing the one behind me? That is home decor at its finest. Thank you very much. And I'm not trying to brag or anything, but uh, take a look at this lamp. That's my lamp. Now this may look like an ordinary coffee table, but if you take a look inside, this is like the gaming station. Every game that you can possibly think of is in this coffee table. You know, I got a little bit of everything. I like to keep people entertained. I'm an entertainer. Look at me, I'm a clown. And in this little corner over here, we got a lamp. I love lamp. This is the basket of blankies because you know what? Every grown man needs at least three. You know, I don't make the rules. It's just how the world works. Especially when you have one like this, it's got little chickies on it. Are you seeing this right now. Don't even try to tell me I don't need this. Of course, in the corner, we have the magic internet box. I love the internet box. And speaking of boxes, we have this one from Ikea, which I, uh, I can't exactly reveal what's inside at the moment. You see, this bad boy is going to be going in my office, which um, at the moment is a... Uh, it's a fucking train wreck. You see, the thing is, I plan on turning the office slash second bedroom into my YouTube studio. And uh, yeah, that's gonna have to be its own separate video. Hey, sorry. And this is my dining room. It's where I dine. Hey, uh, can someone edit like a chicken or like a uh, pizza or something? Oh, mmm, yum. I can't wait to dine on that in my dining room in my new apartment. By the way, uh, hey, take a look at this tablecloth. Your boy's got a tablecloth. Come on, if that doesn't say adult, I don't know what does. Allow me to welcome you to my kitchen. You know, most people say the magic happens in the bedroom, but honestly, I think it happens in here. And you guys already know, I be chefing it up in here. I've got a spatula. I've got a whisk. I can I can whip up a mean bowl of cereal. Don't play with me. This is my oven. It's like, okay. Uh, as far as the stove goes, it's um, it may be a little dirty. And also these little coily things. Yeah, not used to having that. That's, um, it's interesting. One thing that I would like to mention is this trash can over here. Why did no one tell me that a trash can was $75? Whoa, okay, let me just go broke for a trash can? <sighs> please. And of course, this would not be MTV Cribs if I don't give you a tour of the fridge. Yeah, we got a whole lot of uh, random shit in there. You got the protein shakes, the Coca-Colas. Oh, and I am very proud of this. Take a gander at my hot sauce section, baby. I mean, of course, you have the Cholula, you have this big green sauce, you have the Frank's Red Hot, but this right here, Hot One's the last dab sauce, you don't mess with this. I may have made the mistake of putting a dab on my little tongue. And let's just say, I almost fucking died. This is my hallway. Yeah, look at that, pretty nice, huh? To the left, we have the guest bath, which is, uh, you know, pretty nice. I mean, you got those tiles, you got, you got the pooper, um, elephant curtain, which that was, that was not my choice. Gonna be honest here, guys, this washer and dryer is actually hella dope, and I'm glad that I have this right here. If I did not have this in my apartment, I would be 
very sad. So I just want you all to know that I smell fantastic and my clothes are always fresh. Now this room, this is the office slash guest bedroom slash future YouTube studio, baby. What's up? I can't really think of a word that's worse than horrendous, but whatever that may be, that's what that is. And this is my bedroom. It's where I go to bed and stuff. Can we take a minute to look at the bed and how nice and perfectly made this is? Go ahead and take a guess who made it. This guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a bed. This is pretty much where I do most of my sleeping. And by most, I mean all of it. Also, just want to point out this little guy right here. His name is Fungus. Yeah, he's, it's not mine. Guys, I'm a grown man. I don't have things like this. And I definitely don't sleep with him every night. <laughs> I don't even care about this thing. Get out of here. Oh my god, Fungus, I'm so sorry. As you can see, it's a little empty in here. We mainly just have the bed, and then we have this bookshelf that me and my fiancé put together, which, um, these are none of my books because I don't read. It's it's actually been a concerningly long amount of time since I've read a book, so, um, not sure if I can do that anymore. But then, of course, we have the fan for sleeping purposes because I, I cannot sleep without some sort of sound going, and the sound of a fan is just... Mwah chef's kiss. And this is my mirror. You know, your boy tries to look good, and if I want to look good, I gotta look at myself. And when I look at myself, I lick my lips, because I look delicious. Okay, that got just a little weird, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This would be my bathroom. It's where I bathe and pee-pee and drop logs. Um, if it's a little dark in here, it's because I don't want to turn on the overhead light, because one, it's an overhead light, and two, because that turns on the fan. And let me tell you, that fan is loud as f which, for filming purposes, is not so good, but when you're taking a big dumpy, it's pretty nice. And this is my closet. Can we just take a second to acknowledge how absolutely gigantic this closet is? I have never in my life had a closet this big. Look at me, I'm lost in the sauce right now. And that just about wraps it up for the apartment tour. I hope you guys like my new home because I'm digging it. Now, before I end the video, I just wanna warn you that it's about to get a little emotional in here as we watch a montage of the room I was in for 27 years. Thank you.